Hello class, Miss Nina here. Today for our read aloud, we are gonna be reading Angelina's Ballet Class, a story about a cute little mouse named Angelina. This book is written by Katherine Holliberg. And what I really enjoy about this book is that it has some pauses for you to do some cool exercises. So as we read, keep that in mind, I'm going to tell you to take a short break and do some of the exercises that Angelina does in her book. Angelina is very excited. She's going to Miss Lily's ballet class today. She packs her pink tutu and two pink slippers in her ballet bag and off she goes. In the dressing room, Angelina meets her friends. They love ballet too. Angelina ties Alice's ribbons and Alice fixes Angelina's bows. In her tutu and slippers, Angelina feels as light as a feather. She can't wait to start dancing. Good morning, Miss Lily, the ballerinas greet their teacher. Angelina twirls around the dance studio and then lines up with her friends. Miss Quaver sits down and chooses some beautiful piano music to play for the lesson. Just as the lesson is about to start, Cousin Henry appears wearing his tiny slippers. You can follow Angelina, Miss Lily says with a smile, and the piano music begins. Stretch and bend, touch your toes, Miss Lily shows the ballet students how to warm up their muscles with exercises. Angelina can touch her toes quite easily, but Henry still has trouble getting around his tummy. Here's the part of the book where you can stretch and do some of the exercises Angelina does in Miss Lily's ballet class. Angelina stretches her legs and turns out her feet. Can you hold very still like Angelina? Alice stretches to the ceiling, then touches her toes. How high can you reach? Flora does the splits and points her toes. How far can you stretch your legs? Felicity arches her back and stretches her arm. Can you bend back as far as Felicity? Alice and Angelina link their hands and touch their feet. Then they rock back and forth to stretch their muscles. Try this with a friend. Miss Lily claps her hands. Now take your places at the bar with your back straight and heads up. Angelina and her friends hold the bar tightly and lift their legs higher and higher until they can do a beautiful arabesque just like Miss Lily. Henry tries to copy Angelina as she checks her position in the mirror, but he can't quite reach the bar. All the dancers practice ballet positions together. First, second, third, fourth, Fifth, repeats Miss Lily. Angelina holds her arms above her head and balances in fifth position. Very good, Miss Lily encourages everyone. Henry gets confused, so Angelina helps him to cross his feet and stand very tall. Here's another part of the book where you can try these ballet moves. First position. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Now we'll take turns practicing leaps, Miss Lily says with a smile. Angelina's first in line. She loves to leap as high as she can. She feels as if she's flying across the room. All the other dancers take their turns. Henry keeps up with them then does his own funny jump. Bravo, Miss Lily applauds. 
Point your toes in and pirouette, Miss Lily says. The ballerinas follow her as she spins gracefully around the room. Angelina starts to twirl very fast and accidentally bumps into Alice. Henry gets so dizzy he has to sit down for a minute. Sometimes pirouettes can be difficult. Hmm, I wonder how Henry's feeling in this picture. Miss Lily is very pleased with her ballet students. Soon, we'll give a recital for all the parents, she announces proudly. Angelina and Alice are going to be the sunflower princesses. They try on their flower costumes and dance in front of the mirrors. Henry buzzes after them, pretending to be a busy bee. Now, we're already at the middle of the book. I want you to take a moment and just rewind the video to see if you missed anything and just to go ahead and get that memory up. What happened in the beginning and now the middle of the story? What has happened in the beginning and the middle of the story? You can pause this video and tell a friend a family member, or just repeat to yourself what has happened so far in the story. Felicity does a sideways leap called a pas de chez. Pas de chez means cat step. Can you step like a cat? Angelina practices a grand juta. She loves to leap very high with her legs outstretched in the air. Can you leap as high as Angelina? Alice can do a lovely aerobesque. She balances on tiptoe and lifts one leg straight behind her. You can do an aerobesque too. Henry practices a plie. He bends his knees lower and lower and tries not to wobble. Try to bend way down like Henry, but don't wobble. Flora does a graceful pirouette. When she spins in a circle, she holds her head still. Can you pirouette like Flora? All together now, listen to the music as we dance, Miss Lily says. She helps Angelina and her friends rehearse the movements for the Sunflower Ballet until they know every step by heart. Henry can't reach his steps, so Angelina helps by dancing like a bee, too. Hmm. Remember how they looked at first? Then what happened in the middle? Right over here. Hmm. Now, let's see what's going on. What can you inference from their faces now? When class is over, Angelina and the other ballerinas perform a reverence. This is the way to say thank you and goodbye to Miss Lily. Angelina does an elegant curtsy. Henry does a formal bow. Goodbye, Miss Lily. Miss Lily waves to everyone. See you soon. Angelina smiles. She can hardly wait to dance again with her friends at Miss Lily's ballet school. The end. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I did. Now we are going to retell the story. Remember, when we are retelling a story, we do not put every detail with all the characters that were all introduced into our retell. We simply talk about the main details that happen in the beginning, the middle, and the end. And don't forget to introduce your characters and what problems they faced. 